Welcome back to the Ultrix Weekly Challenges with myself, Nick Bignall. Um, this is challenge number 21, and it is about converting date fields or fields into dates. So let me just make this slightly bigger so we can see what's going on. Uh, so a company needs to reformat month year flag in a data asset. So um, this is to take a date field and separate into fields representing month and year. Uh, for example, F07 should be become two columns where month is February and year is 07. So if we look at, quickly look at the data, all we've got is one column which says date, um, and then we've got J07 and then just F M A M as in the months I'm guessing, and then uh, J08 which must be January 08, and then uh, the months through. So Let's see how we can attach this one. So let's, uh, first of all, what we should do um, is let's start off with a formula to break out the month from the year uh, here. Um, and then we can then populate that down uh, throughout through the groupings of the year. So I think what we do is take a formula um, and then we basically do now let's just go through the functions here there's a specific one that allows you to pick uh, a piece of string a substring it's called um, that isn't at the big left or the right so yeah, this is the one I'm going to use uh, so I'm going to create a new column we call it year and then we're going to take the string so the string we're obviously working with is the only one we have is date now we want the second um character just to, to start the second character or after the first one so what you put in here is one and the length we want to capture is two uh, we don't need it as a wide string let's just make it a normal string and then uh then we go uh then we have 07 there and 08 here which is good but now we need to populate it through so we need a multi row formula for that so uh, this is where we basically do an uh, an if statement let's create and do we want to create a new field no what we'll do is overwrite the existing field and the existing field is the year and then we want to function conditional if statement which basically says if uh, year uh, equals nothing because if we look in the data if we look in the data there's no nulls it's not null it's just nothing so if it's null then what we want to do is take the previous rows year yep so we're inserting the previous rows year if there's nothing in it but if there is something in it we just want year because we don't want to change it uh, we don't want to change this first row for example or we don't want to change this 13th row so if we just run that we now have the year populated against each of the rows it's re representing okay so that's good now we need to work out these months now i'm thinking that we because you know months are the same we just use we create um, almost like a record ID or you know a number one to twelve for each of the years because they're in order, they're in date order. So um, that would allow us to then do that. So to do to do that, we take another multi-row formula and we want to uh, create a new field. Let's call it um, uh, month num number um, and then we want to group it by the year and we want to take the uh, previous month number and then add one so i should create one two three four five but the first one is obviously you know, this is important that we have values for the rows that don't exist is zero because the first one will they well there's nothing above that there's no minus one row for the first row so it'll assume that it was zero and add one uh, so if we run that through, here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, 
something like 12 for each of the year and then it repeats itself for the second year. Okay, now we want to convert this month number into a uh, string of the Jan, Feb, March, April. So we just use a formula tool. Now I've done this before, so I actually have a formula ready uh, used before. So if we create a new column called month and then we populate this formula and this is just an if statement or else if statement where you've got if month number equals one then Jan Feb March and then the last one you just leave as deck so it okay don't need it as a wide string so we'll just put it that way okay so then we run that we now have a column that says January February March April May and it does it repeats it in the, the second year so then we can simply clean up this data set. Let's get rid of that and insert a browse tool so we can view the results. Or can we do it in the, and if we look there and there, oh, we've got the order wrong. So let's just correct that. So we move these up a couple and then we run it again. And now we've got it. Same as the output above there you go and so that's how you can convert a very odd form format of dates which i never actually come across where you've got this i have seen jan feb march but not with the 07 attached to it too well um but yeah that's how you do it thank you very much for watching and catch you again next time